another perfect afternoon. There's Mira, Joey and Cece, and the rest of the boys up there. Anakin. That's the rooster pad. Our rescue roosters, or we rescue roosters, I guess. <laughs> if I do it, everybody is doing it. That's all there is to it. And if, that's why we're kind of, we have a good deal going where I'm open to hearing ideas. I'm not saying that I will follow your ideas yeah but in my case this is this actually was okay I guess rescuing roosters why not nobody wants them or well let's put it this way in some cases people want them but uh, Yeah, they can't keep them for a for whatever reason. City ordinances. People who have lost their ability to I don't know, to not You know, I don't know, maybe I'm approaching that uh that region the wrong way. I wish I think about it from the point of view of what makes people think that it's okay to have noise from machines and noise from vehicles and whatnot, planes. But the sound of a farm animal, so to speak, is a nuisance. You know, when you hear, when you hear a rooster, it's, it's not even bad about it. And I have, I mean, liter <laughs> I've literally, what, 30 of them? I don't know. Not all of them are down there. I haven't count, count them all. <clears throat> and imagine how the babies that are in the in the clinic that are coming up. I have a bunch of babies there, so there'll be more roosters. I guess let's go back to the point. What what makes people become so intolerant? But only do what they, to their preferences, right? Because if they, for instance, want to have something, and want to, um, for instance, the same people that I probably, uh, and I'm going out on a limb here, same people that don't, are telling you that they don't want roosters around, are probably the same people that make noise and, their kids, their fucking dogs, their <laughs> oh, their parties now that the COVID thing is gone or magically gone. I'm not saying that it's not. I don't think it's trivial, but suddenly nobody's talking about it. Anyway, let's not get derailed. I don't understand that either, but. Uh, when we're talking about uh, tolerance, I think that's an alien term for most people. They don't understand what it means. They don't think about it. For instance, horses are very tolerant. That's totally different. They put up with their shit, right? We put them into paddocks, we push them to the limit. 
at their own loss because they could lose their lives. If you think about it, a horse trips on competition or training or whatever, and then what? Oh, you're gonna cry? But his fucking leg is gone or some other fucking injury. So, hmm, a little different. Anyway. <clears throat> Because I was thinking about uh, how people are to each other a little bit today. We're not very tolerant. We think we are, but we're not. For instance, uh, I guess I can't really talk about the internal affairs of the ranch, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, what I could say is that uh, we must continue to explore different ways to be more connected to each other. And when someone doesn't do what we think they should do, to remember that uh, they also have choices, right? That uh, maybe it's not so, it's not for the worse what they are doing. In some cases, not in all cases. But to give them the benefit, the, not the benefit of the doubt, I think that's bullshit. I think we avoid remembering what the other person is, whether it's a neighbor, maybe. You recall a neighbor being there for you when you were, when you couldn't fucking figure out what a, how a water heater works, and you all you had to do was quarter turn a big red knob on the fucking side of that water heater. And I, well, when a neighbor does that for you, just comes in and goes bloop. There you go, fixed. And you don't have to pay the hundreds of dollars or whatever the fee is for a plumber to come in. You look like a dumbass to your wife, but you know, your wife is used to that, whatever. Not my problem, is it? Anyway, the point here is that uh, there's things that happen, man. It's like there's, there's all kinds of... <clears throat> We gotta remember that uh, when someone fails miserably, or in your eyes, they fail, you also gotta remember that they also were there at one point or another, because you know them, right? I mean, whether it's a neighbor, a friend, whatever else, a family, I don't, I don't talk much about family, but, uh, I think at the end of the day, you gotta remember the good things about them. And actually, you should make it a point to put the good things about them in front, not on the back or, oh, I don't know why he or she's doing this. Well, they also have choices in life. And they want to do what they want to do, just like you do, right? That's what tolerance means, that you can, let me put it this way, that you can be adaptable to any situation and any person doing what they do. I mean, how many people do you know that if you ask them, hey, are you adaptable? Oh, sure, sure I am. But you ask them, all right, so what do you think about President Obama or President Trump? Not to get p political, right? But the, their brains might burst, depending. I don't know. Some people are like that. So I guess the message here for me today is to remember to be flexible, to adapt, to have the temperament 
just like horses do. That's how we have learned about horses and we have taught about horses. I can, I mean, it's not as if I'm showing you anything you don't know. I mean, horse people are really good with horses. They have good horsemanship. But do you have a connection with the horse? That's the question, right? Do you understand what the horse is doing? Do you understand what, how they are feeling that day? And that's what I learned in the last few years working with horses because you're working with them. I'm on the ground. I'm not interested in competing or anything. Just the connection. So, in short, you have a connection with the horse. And I can show you that with no problems because I understand and I think they understand me. They see me for who I am and that has helped me a lot. So this is the same with humans. I don't necessarily have to like what another person does, but at the same time, I don't have to have a fucking opinion about it. I mean, my opinion doesn't fucking matter and neither does yours. For instance, if I told you tomorrow that I'm going to start teaching how to, I don't know, how to talk to horses, right? Or how to connect with horses, one-on-one. -on -one. Forget the fucking halter, forget the line. Can you just connect with them? Can you get them to come to you? Can you get them to, not because you trick them into it. They come to you because it's like your friend saying hi in the morning. You see someone that you like, right? You're like, hey, what's up, dude? That's how you're supposed to be, no matter what. So that's what I'm talking about. If I was gonna start that, right? Start saying that. Then there would be a lot of hesitation from others. And would that, would that matter? Of course not. That's the point. But I have to have the ability to choose what to do with my life. And that's what I mean about others choosing what to do with their own lives. But I really don't wanna, I don't, I don't know what we have here. I don't really wanna market it, just to be clear. In some ways I do. I guess the team is adopting the clicker training, which is fine. What I do with the horses is just one-on-one -on -one and it works, but I'm not interested in the clicker training. That's just silly for me. But not to say that it's not important. See, that's my opinion, which is unwarranted. But, uh, I let everybody else do whatever they want. I'll do my part. I know how to connect with my horses. I get along with them just fine. So all in all, it's being able to function, to be fluid. And that's where it's at. It doesn't mean that you are always happy or sad or depressed or angry. No. Those are just emotions. That's just a roller coaster that we all go through because we're humans. What I'm talking about is what's at the core of who you are, right? Who are you? That's what the horse asks every day. Who are you? What are you made out of? Because they show you who they are every day. They see your character. They don't see the impressions you give or you attempt to make on other people. And they're not interested in that. They see through that bullshit. They see the little girl that cries. They see the little boy that's upset. <laughs> yeah, that's Jordan. 
Anyway, I gotta go. I gotta get something to eat. Enough said.